Hey everybody, this is Doug with a short video about magnets and how they interact with our devices, particularly pacemakers and defibrillators. Remember, I'm not a medical professional giving medical advice, I'm just some guy on the internet. What I am doing though is I'm sharing knowledge with you so that you can understand how our devices safely interact with magnets so that you can live an informed life free of fear. Thanks. Let's start with this. There's a lot of misinformation out there about magnets. At one time in our history, magnets were kind of dangerous for our devices. It was not a good idea to be around magnets. That has changed a lot in the past 10 to 12 years. Now, today, it is very safe to be around magnets. It's very safe for our devices to interact with magnets. Um, what I want to start with is that I'll tell you what magnets will not do. Magnets will not turn off your device. They will not scramble your programming. They will not change your programming. Uh, they will not... Uh, force your device to do anything it wasn't designed to do. In particular, it will not stop pacing and it will not cause a device to shock like a defibrillator. So those are the things that magnets will not do. Uh, but let's talk about what they do. Uh, they're designed, our devices are designed to interact safely with magnets. And different companies, uh, the devices react slightly differently, but there is industry, there are industry standards out there. In particular, devices need a, a magnet the strength of 10 gauss to activate any kind of change. This is a 90 gauss magnet, so this is super powerful. Um, and when they come into contact with the device, they react just a little bit differently. The companies are a little differently, but they, they generally stick around the same kind of concept. First of all, with pacemakers, uh, if you place a magnet on top of a pacemaker, the device will switch modes. So your pacemaker has a mode that it's in right now, and then within that mode, it has certain kind of programming. And that programming is different patient by patient, depending on your needs. So you may have the same pacing mode as somebody else, but you'll have different programming settings, program settings. What it will do, what a, what a magnet will do to a pacemaker is it will force that device to switch modes to a constant rate. And each company is different. Medtronic switches their devices to 85 beats a minute 100% uh, of the time. And I talk mostly about Medtronic because that's the kind of device that I have. I have a Medtronic device. So Medtronic pacemakers will switch to 100 beats, uh, 85 beats a minute 100% of the time. And when you remove the magnet, that mode switches back to your original programming. That's all it does. With ICDs, it's a little different. Pacing is not affected at all, but when you place a magnet on an ICD, it will inhibit detections. And that means that the magnet is telling the device to ignore any rhythms it sees. And so if you put a magnet on an ICD, your device will not shock you while the magnet is on the ICD. As soon as you take the magnet off, it goes right back to its old programming and everything is fine. These are intentional designs. This is designed really for clinicians and, and surgeons and doctors to use so that they can safely interact with the device in certain settings. Um, we just need to be aware of what happens when magnets come in close contact with our devices. Now, real quickly, let me show you what it looks like when you place a strong magnet like this on your device. Again, I, I've got this 90 gauss magnet, it's really strong. I'm kind of waving it around my body. It's not affecting my device at all. Here's my device. But as soon as I put it on my device, I'm gonna show you how far I can be or how close I need to be for it to affect it. As soon as I get it close enough to my device, you're gonna hear it because Medtronic ICDs make a noise. Pacemakers don't, but Medtronic ICDs do. So here we go. I'll let that finish. So there you go, a 10 second tone. Now that tone uh, helps the clinician understand that they got the magnet in the right place. As patients, we can use that tone as an indicator of, oh, we're a little close to a magnet. Uh, now, again, right now, this is not harming my device in any way. It's not scrambling programming. It's not damaging it in any way. What it has done, though, with my ICD is it has inhibited detections. So right now, if I have a cardiac arrest, I won't get shocked. But once I remove the magnet, my mode switches back and the uh, uh, device is operating normally again. And now I would get shocked if I had a cardiac arrest. That's really the basics of, of uh, magnet interaction with our devices. It's not harmful, it doesn't harm our device. Uh, we should be aware though, as patients, what a magnet will do to our device. With pacemakers, it switches mode to a constant pacing rate at a set uh, beats per minute. And with ICDs, it switches it over to inhibit detections so that our device will not shock us. 
Uh, this is important to know so that when you're out in your everyday life, if you're a pacemaker patient and you feel kind of odd, maybe you're running up the stairs and you feel like your heart's not catching up enough, take a look around. Maybe you have a lanyard with a, a magnetic pin on it and that's right over your device. Uh, that might be causing you to feel a little off. Move that and, and you should go back to normal. With uh, ICDs, if you hear that sound, good indicator that you're a little close to a magnet. Now, does this mean that you need to eliminate all magnets in your house? No, absolutely not. Again, super powerful magnet. I'm holding this with, you know, in a few inches of my body. It's not affecting my device at all. Um, some parents with kids wonder, do I need to get rid of all the toys that have magnets? That's up to you. It's uh, depending on how comfortable you are. Personally, I would let my kids play with toys that have magnets. I just wouldn't let them hold it against their chest for a long period of time. Uh, you don't want to fall asleep with an iPad on your chest that has a magnet in the, in the cover. Things like that. Um, now, I know there are some doctors and clinics who are, are telling patients that it's really unsafe to be next to magnets, near, near magnets. Uh, I would encourage you to ask them to talk to their device reps from their companies or to maybe contact patient services or technical services from the manufacturers that they use and learn more about the, the up-to-date up -to -date standards because it is really safe for us to be around magnets. We shouldn't hold them up against our device, but uh, it is safe for us to interact with magnets. So I encourage you to uh, ask them to, to check that data again and uh, see if they maybe want to change their recommendations of what they say to patients. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please throw it into the comments. Thanks.